Hey folks, Aaron at Redbird Speed. Today I want to talk a little bit about gears and what gear you need for your 9 inch rear end. So there's a couple different types here. I've got a street gear and a pro gear on the table. So street gears are made out of an A620. These are made out of 9310. So what that means is the street gears have a more, uh, it's a harder heat treat and it's made for daily driving and, and frequent use. Whereas these pro gears, they're gonna be a softer heat treat and they are made to handle a harder launch. So you cannot run pro gears on the street, they'll overheat. Um, now, like I know some of the guys doing drag and drive events with very high horsepower, what they do, their solution is to run two center sections. So they'll have one center section with a street gear to drive from event to event, get to the track, swap out the center, put the pro gear in and make their pass. Because a street gear like this, it's more brittle. Uh, that comes with the harder heat treat. It's more brittle for everyday use, for wear purposes, and uh, it's just not gonna take, you know, the manufacturers rate these to 600 foot-pounds of torque. So it's just not gonna take, you know, a 2,000 horsepower car, you know, coming off a trans brake. It's just not gonna do it. So that's when you need the bigger, thicker, heavier duty pro gear. Now I will say pro gears, I've heard people say I got 50 or 75 passes or I got 200 passes out of a gear. Uh, these are, I would call this a wear item. This is something that some people change them out every year. Some people change them out every couple hundred passes. It really depends on your vehicle, your build, how hard you're leaving, what you're doing with it. But at the end of the day, these are more brittle. You know, they, they handle everyday driving. These are softer for a harder launch. Now, when you're picking parts for your center section, here's another thing that I wanna talk about to make sure all this works together. The reason I have this yoke on the table here is you can see there's 28 splines here. This is gonna fit over this pinion right here. There's 28 teeth on this pinion. So that's gonna fit right there. Now, when you're putting the center section together, you can see this pinion, you can see this pinion has a bigger, a big 35 spline for a pro gear. So it's gonna take a different yoke that fits a 35 spline. Uh, so that's also gonna affect your setup kit. It's gonna affect your, you know, your pinion nut. So when you're picking parts for your center section, definitely gotta make sure all these parts work together. So um, it's also uh, pro gear, standard gear. Uh, they look very similar, but this is gonna be, it's gonna handle a lot more power. If you have any questions, give us a ring, 260-301-2424. You can get us on our website, drop a comment below. Uh, probably best just to call us. So let's continue. We're going to talk about setup kits, yokes, and whatnot. And if you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of us. Thanks for watching.